So last night at 1 a.m. in the morning, and I checked on Kitty, her ligaments were completely gone. And usually, in the past, she goes 12 hours after she loses her ligaments. That's when she kids. The last two kiddings, that was exactly like clockwork. This time, she's holding out on us. So she's definitely in pre-labor, but she's taking her time. She wanted to come out here, so I let her out, and I'm letting her labor out here until she starts getting to the point where she's laying down a lot or getting to the point where I'm seeing obvious contractions, then I'll bring her in. But we're out here gardening anyway, so it's a perfect day to be on Utter Watch. And if you can see, her vulva is very swollen today and her udder is much larger and tighter. So we are going to be having kids today, I'm sure of it. I just hope it's before bedtime. <laughs> okay, it is now the next morning. Kitty is proving that you can never trust a goat, even one that has been faithful and loyal in her habits and behavior before Kitty. <laughs> so Kitty is now three days late. And I am positive on the due date because we, um, it's called hand bread, which is when you bring the buck to the dough when she's in heat and only allow that breeding to take place instead of running the buck with the does and not knowing the date. So the main reason why I did this is so I would know the date so we wouldn't have any confusion like we did last year about kidding dates. Well, yesterday afternoon, Kitty had her ligaments tighten up a little bit instead of relax the rest of the way. So her ligaments were gone. Then they strengthened back up. And then last night, they were a little bit loose again. Well, this morning, I'm down here. Um, it's actually late morning. This morning's check, Ryan did, and he said there was no signs of anything changing. Well, now I'm down here late morning, almost afternoon, and she is, as soon as I laid eyes on her, I said, your belly's dropped. And I went in and the first thing I did was feel her ligaments. They were so gone, like way more gone than before. It was just complete squishy back there. I couldn't even find them. Um, and then I looked at her tail and I saw there was a string of goo. So we are definitely in labor, active labor now. So the pre-labor stages went much longer than usual. And that's not like her. She's always been like clockwork. 12 hours after her ligaments are gone, she delivers. And I say always, you know, that was two times. So two times that she kidded with us. Yay, you're a good girl. So she's happy to get her banana peel. Kitty loves her banana peels. And I can't help but think that that can't help her out during labor too. So I'm gonna get her a flake of alfalfa hay because we've been using Bermuda because it's cheaper, but she needs that extra calcium in the alfalfa. Yes. And she tends to eat all the way through kidding. Um, not all goats do. Some goats completely go off feed a day before kidding. So every goat is different, you guys. Every goat is different. And apparently every time it is different. I guess it's kind of like human pregnancies. You just never know what to expect. I hope that the lighting is beneficial in here so that we can get some good video coverage of Kitty's labor and delivery. I'm really glad she didn't go in the middle of the night when I was asleep. So she's looking really good. She's content 
she doesn't want me to touch her, so I'm just gonna sit back and uh, keep an eye on things. Let her do her thing as long as that's good to let her do her thing. I don't intervene unless it's necessary. I am hands-on during labor though, for sure, compared to some other goat herds. Dairy goats tend to have more of a appreciation with the connection between their humans during delivery because we are such a big part of everything that happens after that with the milking and the bonding that we get from milking goats is much deeper than most situations on bigger farms. So we are just gonna sit back and let her tell us what she needs. And if any signs of anything wrong happen, then we'll know to intervene. But she looks like she's doing fine. Um, as long as she's progressing a little bit at a time. Obviously, she took three days to go into labor. <laughs> so we're gonna let her take her time and not get over anxious. But once the pushing starts, we do set a timer for 30 minutes so that we know if anything is going wrong, we can go in and check the position of the baby or the size. Sometimes large babies can get stuck on the way out and sometimes wrong positions can make it more difficult and that's when we choose to intervene and we watch for signs of calcium deficiency throughout the birth. All right, I will keep you updated. Kitty looks ready. You should be ready. A lot of up and down. You see Kitty still eats all the way through labor. She's up yawning, yawning, stargazing. These are all symptoms that can overlap with calcium deficiency, but it's usually just labor progressing head pressing. Some people do preemptively give calcium at onset of labor. So that's something that you should consider researching and see if it's something you would want to do. I've been tempted to. I've been tempted to. I, if it wasn't such a painful drench, I probably would do it. But it's very um, harsh going down. So I try not to use it unless I have to. If it is a goat that will accept Tums, you can offer up to 10 Tums at a time, usually for a full size goat, and um, if they eat it, great. It's not going to hurt them. To you know, there is other ingredients in tums that aren't wonderful ingredients, but they're nothing super harmful. They're just you know dyes and sugars. <laughs> Kitty, you're being dramatic. She's so funny. So Kitty has begun pushing. There have just been slight gentle pushes, but the contractions are very close together and very strong. This is a good day as any. To start yeah, the rebuilding really life. This time, like rolling over onto her back. The roads that Literally. they open are many. When the old one's gone on the night. And I can feel the sun yeah. on my skin. Yeah. I can feel the sun on my
bubble just broke that was coming out and I can see hooves. So it's looking good so far. Lots of good pushes happening. Feeling pretty good about this one. All right, she's standing up and cleaning up some of that amniotic fluid so we can get a better look at what's happening down here. So it looks like I see a hoof. <laughs> at least I think that looked like a hoof. <laughs> we'll know soon enough. Another big push. Doing good, girl. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Those were some good pushes, girl. Saw a lot trying to come out. Good job, kitty. Good push. Good push. Looks like I see two hooves, so that's good. Look how tight and shiny that udder is. You're gonna have so much milk, honey. She my milk cow. You my milk cow, kitty. Good girl, good push. Oh, I know, baby. You're doing really good. Good job, girl. Oh, yes. The hooves do look pretty big. I'm wondering if it's just a really big baby. <laughs> Maybe it's not twins this time. Maybe it's just one big one. We'll, we'll know soon enough, though, won't we? Here you, honey. Good job. Oh, I see a little face. Good job, kitty. Good job. Once you get that head out, you are good to go, sweetheart. Good job. There you go. There you go, girl. Wonderful. <coughs> Keep it up, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I know. I know. All right. Shoulders next, and then you're good to go, sugar. The rest will just slide out. <laughs> Looks like it's got kitties coloring again. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, she wants her baby so bad. <laughs> all right, girl. <laughs> all right, baby. Good girl. You got it. Okay. Good girl, get past those shoulders. Get past those shoulders. Good girl. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Good job, honey. Really, you could probably just stand up and that baby would slide the rest of the way out, honey. 
Yeah, that's your baby. You want to lick it so bad. You're a good mama. There you go, come on. <laughs> yeah, sneeze quick. Yeah. <laughs> Mama. Good job. I love that it's such a warm day. Don't have to worry about cleaning the baby. You can let mama do it because no chill in the air. You're a good mama. What a good girl. Baby's out. Check the sets. <laughs> I have to wait a little bit more and let Mama bond. <laughs> so funny. That's so funny that it's trying to oh, the other There's a baby out. coming. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Sharp teeth. I think I just cut myself. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I totally did. So slob. On baby teeth. Okay. Yes, they're sharp, sharp. How sharp are they? There. Here, pay attention to a new one. I'll put this one over here. Take care of the new one's face and then you can clean them both up. A little bit of the yellowish color in the amniotic fluid means it probably passed a little meconium while it was waiting to come out because it clearly was ready. So what did we get? We've got a boy. First one is a buckling. <laughs> Explain things. Very um, 
<laughs> Abundant hunger. You're a boy. That's why you're hungry. You're a boy. He's your sweet boy. You're right. You're a sweet boy. Here you are. You got your nose clear. I think it's so neat how when they first come out, their hooves are like jelly. But it's super, super soft. I don't know if you guys have ever known that before. Some people trim it off. I've never done that. I wouldn't want to. It'd make me nervous. I'd be afraid I'd do it wrong. And I don't know if there's any purpose to doing it either. I've just seen it in some videos. Oh my goodness, you guys are adorable. Should I check the sex on the new one yet? <laughs> yes, Ryan's not a guest for those of you that don't know. He's behind your camera for me right now. All right. Uh, all right, move over. Let me see. Uh-oh. Can't tell, there's too much to goo. I I mean, I don't want to say for sure, but pretty sure it's a dough. <laughs> so we got our dough and buckling. That's super sweet. Yeah. And does that work with the names we had in mind? It works perfectly with the names we have in mind. Do you want to say it? Do we want to say it? Sure. Oh, you're trying to stand up. I was just... So, our little doling, her name is Patience. Patience. And her brother's name is Virtue. Perfect. <laughs> patience and Virtue. Boy, do I need to learn patience. That's what Kitty's trying to teach me, right? Kitty, you're trying to teach me to be more patient. Yeah. Get them out of that fluid pile. Onto dry towel. Just make any? it easier to clean them up. Yeah. Molasses down here? The molasses is in the fridge. So. What do you think, babies? So the first thing we like to do after Mama's done cleaning them up and getting them nursed, we want to make sure they nurse right away. But then we give Mama hot molasses water to drink. And we dip the baby's umbilical cords in iodine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, kitty. Good job. Hi, yo, yo, bang. Thank <laughs> you. 
they're going to be walking before you are. <laughs> they're so strong. Look at that. Patience, you are amazing. Oh, super cute girl. Oh, back up. Oh, yes, you got back up. You're a strong girl. Your brother's going to try to nurse on you. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> yeah. 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 I should be. I should have this is hilarious. on the baby. Virtue, you're not supposed to nurse on your sister's armpit. Stop <laughs> it. Sweet little patience was just standing up, doing a good job. Until her brother started trying to nurse on her armpit. And then she was like, um, I can't handle my balance now. So now her brother's under her. <laughs> Silly baby goats. These two are doing really good. Little girl has stood up several times now. She's so adorable with her little wobbly legs. And brother has attempted a couple of times too. They're strong. Why is oh, you silly girl. Why is he chewing on mama? Looking for a cheat. He's been ready to nurse since before he was done coming out. Oh, looks like, looks like, oh, he, he almost found it there. Yeah. She got her back legs up. Kitty Kitty loves her molasses water. I'm sure she'll drink the whole quart, but... She says, you bet your butt I'm going to drink the whole quart. So about how much molasses do you put in a quart? You just eyeball it, make it a nice dark I color. I would say that was probably... <laughs> A third of a cup, maybe yeah. more. It was what was left in the thing. Okay. So we need to get some more. Okay. Thank you for that reminder. Remind me again when we're like at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, girlfriend. So it just gives her an extra boost of energy and a little bit of vitamins too. So her meal tonight will include the herbs and some extra vitamins. She'll probably get some vitamin B complex and some vitamin C to help with healing and herbs, the, the immune boosting herb mix. For, um, I think we have Granny's Best right now, not Molly's, but either or. Um, the, there's other herbal companies that make herbs for goats that are great too. I'm actually sitting down today, well, I was gonna be sitting down today to make my complete order for the wholesale herbs to make our own immune boosting and parasite herbs so it'll be it'll be fun to have our own you guys are so cute all right kitty now that you've got that you're gonna have the strength to get up and nurse these babies she still hasn't stood up I'm like come on girl you're being lazy but she's teaching me patience. I have to have patience with her because that's what she's teaching me. So I'm just going to go sit back on my stove. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> All right, Kitty. Kitty is now up on her feet. The placenta has begun to pass, which is a good thing. And the babies are up on their feet and ready to nurse, so that's likely to happen in the next few minutes. She's being really good and attentive, giving them lots of attention and cleaning them well. She is a good, good mama. And she likes playing with the lights, I've noticed. 
Okay, good. Yelling at it's not going to make it work better. So after a perfect uneventful birth kitty has a doling and a buckling and she's doing really well she just passed her placenta and ate it the babies have nursed multiple times they've shown great activity levels playing with each other and walking around being healthy little babies we've done the iodine she's had her molasses so we're just gonna let them rest for the rest of the day and tonight she'll get a healthy serving of alfalfa with the herbs for immune boosting Hope you guys have enjoyed our day in the life of a farmer while goats are in labor. And we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. What you doing? What are you doing, Patience? What are you doing? I don't think I have milk under there. You trying to get some knee milk? That's 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 it. That's exciting. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're silly. <laughs>